Hello, hello, dear Scorpio. Happy, happy birthday. Um, I know it's not your birthday yet, but by the time you watch this reading, it probably will be because the sun will enter Scorpio on the 23rd of October, depending on where you are in the world. Thank you so much for being here. This is Kathy from Divine Debut. Many happy returns for your solar return. The sun moving into Scorpio is going to bring you much happiness and it's like restarting the year for you on all levels dear Scorpio good luck with that <laughs> good luck good luck I'm so happy for you okay I'm doing the mid-month readings mid-month of October till end of October 2019 they're general and they're love readings of course it's a Celtic cross so I hope that you all are enjoying my um, horoscope spread, which I've just recently uploaded for mid -no uh, October till mid November 2019. They're different spreads, so these are they were extra readings. This this is a full on reading. You get to see the whole thing on YouTube for free, as usual. Okay, so dear Scorpio, let's see what's going on with you. I know these are a little bit late, but I've had big issues with my website. Um, yeah, with the extended readings there, which is a new feature that I offer. So I will be doing a lot more extended readings. Um, so Scorpio, thank you again for your support. Thank you for your love. Let's take your reading so we don't make these <laughs> so long. Okay. Now, we're going to have a new moon in your sign on the 27th or 28th. It's not going to be easy because of the transits. I may do uh, another video for those of you that love astrology, another video where I will be explaining the astrology. So let's do the tarot here. You've got a new moon in your sign. It's a wild card. Make sure you um, set your intentions as soon as you can see that new moon in the sky. So just after the 28th, 29th, 30th, just before Halloween. And Halloween is when Mercury will be turning retrograde. Okay, so on the 31st of October, and that's actually my son's birthday. So yeah, interesting, eh? Let's take your cards. In the now position, Scorpio, you've got the two of wands. And I'm sorry about the lighting. It's just the time of the day. I really can't do much about it. I need to get these readings out. So two of wands you've got in the now position. Your challenge is the six of swords. At the base, the root of the issue is the two of cups. In the recent past, you have the empress. Beautiful major arcana. Crowning your reading is the Ten of Pentacles. In the near future, dear Scorpio, you have the King of Pentacles. In the position of you is the Two of Pentacles. Two twos, three twos you have. A lot of decision-making times ahead for you. What is external to you? Wow, you've got the Six of Wands. That's beautiful. Wishes and dreams, hopes and fears. Nine of Swords, yeah, time of being fearful. That's what happens when everything is looking too good. You are fearful of something going wrong. Let's take your outcome card and you've got the Queen of Wands, Queen of Rods in this deca. And I will have the um, all the cards listed in the description box below. So the Queen of Wands is someone who is a Leo, Sagittarius or Aries. Let's look at, and I would say any, any fire sign could be. Let's take the bottom of the deck and you've got the general energies, the Ace of Swords, Ace of Swords, sorry, which is uh, potential for something brand new, potential for having a successful new beginning. This is clarity. This is communication. Now, Mercury will be retrograding in your sign. So there will be a lot of scorpionic energies, Plutonian energies that we will be going through all of November. 
and um, this is beautiful absolutely it's clarity it's um, it's those talks having those deep intimate talks and um, I see that the crown here is it's very royal looking so uh, royalty can speak of a little bit of ego as well so a little bit of healthy ego is good too much is not necessary not asked or asked for oh my god I can't even talk let's see what's beneath that you know this is the hand of the universe giving you the ace of swords this is amazing it's a gift so we've got the queen of swords here as well wow queen of swords she's um, she's holding that ace of swords and I believe that this is your energy you guys for a lot of you this is you speaking your truth you're doing your calculations you're communicating some of you may be dealing with another air sign, so Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Um, and we've got the High Priestess, um, sorry. Beneath that is Judgment Calling, which is Plutonian. This is a second chance, a re something coming back that you thought was long gone, dead, buried. It's You're being given a second chance. Now, so for some of you, this could be a judgment. Someone may be judging you, you may be judging someone else, but for me this is a resurrection, starting over. And that is, you know, having those conversations that were necessary, those deep intimate conversations, maybe even about intimacy, connection, commitment, which is the 8th house of Scorpio, because things were not communicated, things were held back. That's what the High Priestess is all about. And she does hold the moon. She is the moon goddess. So there were things that were hidden that will be coming up for clearing, for communicating. Okay. It's funny here, you know, we've got, uh, and I believe that for most of you, um, for most of you, I do believe that that Queen of Swords is more than likely your energy, but... You know that there are many layers in the tarot, obviously. So it's all about talking. It's all about could even be severing ties. Some of you could be severing ties because you may be making a decision. A decision. There's so many twos here. In the now position, we have the two of wands. Okay, and usually in this deck, we've got two people. There's two different uh, hands here. Right? So there is a conversation. We're not seeing who the other person is. Now this is making a choice, ready to walk through a new doorway. I think that this is probably the communication that's going to help you set on that adventure. This is very Sagittarian. You've got a vision of the future, of what you want to um, set your goals towards. And I think that you're ready to take that uh, next step. Dear Scorpio, we've got the Six of Swords as the challenge. So this is moving away from difficulties to better times. Some of you, this could be literally moving, traveling over water, through the air. We've got the Sagittarian energy, which is the Two of Wands. Sagittarius is all about freedom. Okay, so freeing yourself up from a situation that you may have somehow turned your back on freedom of choice as well I feel I should say here at the root of the issue we've got the two of cups which is a soulmate connection this is a divine union okay and this is where the reading sprouts from this is the root of the issue so what happens when we plant something it starts to sprout so I feel as though there is a beginning of a very serious connection here. And some of you may be dealing with someone that could be at a distance. Now the Empress here in the recent past, as an energy, she's all about manifestation, expansion, she's a three. Growth, this is also a card of patience. Patience before birth can be had. Now this could be something that some of you may be very creative with. She speaks of Venusian energies, so that is Taurus as well as Libra. 
Okay, now Libra is the first air sign that is mentioned here. So could be dealing with a Libra or you may have Libra strong in your chart. The Empress is also um, Taurian energy and Taurus is all about our values, our self-worth. Now some of you may be viewing, oh, and it's funny that we've got the new moon here. That's very interesting. This could say that with the new moon in Scorpio, you will be manifesting something, something that will be very beautiful for you, something that you're going to love. Um, and the moon goddess comes up here with this new moon energy. And I did say you have the high priestess. Look at the similarities. So, yeah, whatever has been hidden it, it, that will be shown to you is going to be really, really nice. It's going to be something that you're going to love. Something around your values, around your comforts, brothers of you. Um, it could also be speaking of love, beginning a brand new relationship. Maybe if it's something that's from the past, um, because you have the judgment card there, which is a resurrection of something. Maybe something had started in the past, and then for some reason there was a halt on it, some stoppage, some blockages. Here I feel that the energy of the Empress has got a lot to do with the High Priestess. Now, could you be dealing with someone that you view as the Empress? She is someone who is very intuitive. She could be someone who is very spiritual. She could be a motherly figure to a lot of people through spirit, through spiritual means, through her higher self. Could it be someone that deals with um, mysticism? That's what the High Priestess is. And she is a spiritual leader. So, crowning your reading is the Ten of Pentacles. This is what's on your mind. This is your, your aim. This is what you're going for. Now, tens are all about completion, turns into an ace. And aces are all about potentials. Now, this is something physical, something real, something tangible. And you could be dealing with a secretive relationship. Look at the, uh, these two people. It's as though they're hiding behind a, a curtain, a closed door. They're... Um, together but they're not showing this to the world, to their family. What is the Ten of Pentacles? It's all about, you know, fa a family situation. You could be communicating something or setting down the boundaries, the foundations. I shouldn't say boundaries. Um, what I mean by that is you are not letting others know. So you're yeah, you've got the boundaries in the sense that you're not opening up to the world and communicating about this. You are secretly behind the scenes preparing something. And of course, with the sun being in Libra, that's very obvious for you, Scorpio. The 12th house where the sun is transiting now is very secretive. And 12th house can also be affairs. Some of you may be in a committed partnership relationship and you're having a, an affair and you could be in a situation where there is love, there is deep emotion here and you are juggling between two people. This is the position of you. Another two, which is juggling. And I don't want to say hedging your bets, but you're trying to make a decision. Some of you could be just really, really busy. We've got the Ten of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, the Two of Cups can be a, of course, a partnership where work is concerned and it's looking amazing because in the near future you have the King of Pentacles. Now the King of Pentacles for me is Taurian energy, it could be Capricorn or Virgo, for me it's mainly Taurus and Uranus is in Taurus, Uranus is in Taurus bringing in those radical changes, those uh, big shifts where self-worth and values are concerned. Now dear Scorpio, Taurus is your Partnership house. So partnership house, seventh house is all about um, relationships with others, you know, um, romantic relationships as well. Now the king of pentacles on a financial level, he's fantastic. He's got so much going for him. Okay, he's all about abundance, his um, comforts. He's someone that's very dependable, someone that's very grounded 
could be a business owner. Uh, for a lot of you, I feel that this is your energy. For some of you, this could be someone that's got strong earth in their chart that you may be dealing with. And the Empress, as I said, can be. She's Venusian. So Venus is all about values, money, projects. If we're looking at her just as, a, as an energy, let's say. Now, what's in your environment is the Six of Wands, and this can be a card of ego, but it can also be, mainly, it's a card of success and, um, you know, being applauded for your efforts, being acknowledged for your successes. And this is someone who feels very proud. So, you may be dealing with someone, and we've got the Queen of Rods here, the Queen of Wands, who can be someone who's very creative. Now, could the Empress with the Queen of Rods be the same person? Could be, yes. I feel that this is the person you are dealing with, the other person. And, you know, the Six of Wands is someone who is well known. They're, they've got the, uh, uh, they've got a star that they're following, I should say. When I say star, they're, they're very popular within a community, within a group. And they're very successful as well with what they have created, what they're accomplishing. And, you know, Six of Wands, even if we're talking about a relationship, a love relationship, it is a number six. Six is a number of balance. But there are some worries around you, dear Scorpio. Nine of Swords is not easy energy. There are some things that you are dealing with, some restrictions here. Look at the way his hands are tied. Now, this is a perception, but it's keeping you up at night. So, what is it that you are wor worrying about? Now, for those of you that are dealing with two different people, you're trying to make a decision. I see the worry, I understand it. For others of you, of course, um, if there is something on the cards, some new connection, new relationship, I should say partnership, um, where we could have, we could even be dealing with three people, okay? And maybe that's what the worry is all about here. There's um, three people here, right? So they do say two's company, three's a crowd, but the Empress is, she would be the, the director, right? And uh, the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands could be a very good team. One is more creative, more fiery. The other one, the King of Pentacles, is someone who is more grounded, very good with their money. So this could make a good team here. But there is some sort of a decision that's giving you hardship. Could it be that some of you are hoping to expand your business to the world? Because if we look at the position of, you know, your highest ideals, your goals... Ten of Pentacles is like you're trying to make it big. Or let's say you've gotten to a point where there is a lot of success. But where do we go from here? You're restarting. Okay, it's like you're beginning again. Could it be that you have a financial, financial help coming in? Now, the King of Pentacles, of course, could be uh, someone who works at a bank, let's say. Could be... You could be um, welcoming, welcoming, sorry, financial investors, and that's where the worries are. You're hoping to um, to not miss any of the details, but uh, until Mercury goes retrograde, it's all good. After that, be careful with what you sign. If you need to sign something, check check the finer details. Do the Virgo energy. Look at everything closely. Do your homework. Okay, beautiful. Now, what I'd like to do is I would like to take another deck. Okay, this is called the Lover's, um, Lover's Path Tarot. And I will be taking probably one card for your love life. Let's see what comes out here, dear Scorpio. What's going on for you? Mid-October till end of October. Scorpio, please. Scorpio, please. Spirit. And we have the Ace of Coins. This is beautiful. 
absolutely so this is something that is going to make it something that's going to be you know long lasting and it's something that is real okay it's not um, a pie in the sky it's not your imagination this is real now it's earth energy okay which says that you need to have your feet planted firmly on the ground but look at the love heart with the wings I feel that a lot of you have got a lot of fluttering sensations in your heart I feel that this is a very exciting time for you ace of coins you could be dealing with an earth sign Okay, now some of you, if you are not dealing with an earth sign, more than likely they've got strong earth in their chart. But this could also be your energy because remember how I said that Taurus is your seventh house of relationships and partnerships. So the Ace of Pentacles is a potential for something that's really, really exciting, something that will last, and that's the most important thing. Now some of you may be dealing with someone who is pregnant your partner could be pregnant okay if you have um, been together for a little while and let's say for some of you could be that pregnancy was an issue for those of you that have that are committed okay this could be a pregnancy and I love it for you okay because we've got the Empress she's the mother she's the mother and she's got she's going to give birth now, if this is, again, I'm going to take it for business as well. If you have been pregnant with something very creative, you've got the Ten of Pentacles here as well, which is works out to be the Ace again. So this is beautiful. Scorpio, new love is coming in, new business, new money. This could be, of course, this could be um, a raise for others of you that are working for someone else. Now, the Queen of Rods, of course, She's very fiery, very passionate, very creative, but she's also very sexual. There is a very strong magnetism with the uh, the Queen of Rods, as has the Empress. So the Queen of Rods is someone who, she's fiery, so she doesn't sit back. She lets you know what's on her mind. She will act. She will be spontaneous where her desires and her passions are concerned. So I'd like to take a few more cards from another deck. Okay, another deck, just to take a little bit more because we've got quite a few people in um, your reading here, dear Scorpio. And doesn't mean that they all have to be actual people. They can be energies such as the Empress, let's say. She's Major Arcana, which says that a lot of abundance and um, you know beautiful things are coming in okay for some of you this could be your mother okay let's take a card on each position so let's look at the two of wands and the six of swords and we've got the knight of cups so there is an offer extended either for travel and love or travel and business could be Okay, now this is a water sign, which is you, more than likely, dear Scorpio. This is your energy. You're the Knight of Cups. You are offering your cup. He's facing the uh, King of Pentacles, which could be, for those of you that are dealing with um, Earth energy, he's, he's looking towards the near future. He's going to extend the Ace of Cups that he's holding. Let's look at the Two of Cups here in the Foundation. Oh, we've got two cards, and we've got the Nine of Cups and the Knight of Wands. So the Knight of Wands is quick, desirous energy, quick movement, quickly moving into a wish fulfillment, I see, here. Hopefully you could see the cards. I'm trying to get a different view on my table. I'm just still working on it. Wow, and we've got the High Priestess here. Yeah, this is very hidden, very hidden. There is a relationship that you, for those of you that have not met this person yet, for you singles, you have the, um, you've been having the signs and you need to trust your intuition that that is what is happening. Now, you may be familiar with this person, 
but maybe they um, you're trusting your intuition that they will come forth with that offer now the high priestess is a she's Virgo Piscean energy a lot of Piscean Pisces is unconditional love isn't it let's look at the Empress in the recent past and we've got the hangman and I just said Pisces okay so there was some sort of a waiting period someone had to change the way they see things okay it was all about timing all about perspective all about sacrifice some of you have sacrificed a lot you've sacrificed your time maybe even resources let's look at the ten of pentacles in your crowning area and you have the wheel of fortune another ten beautiful the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor again Sagittarian energy Sag is all about spirit it's all about keeping the faith it's going on that vision that uh, looking looking at the world from different eyes and going on that adventure uh, freeing yourself up from whatever has been holding you back okay so another 10 it's a cycle that is ending and cycle uh, beginning for you dear Scorpio beautiful and with the will of fortune again Sagittarius could be foreigners foreign places now Jupiter is in the sign of Sagittarius so it's very strong it's on its last league the last 10 degrees so it's flying now it's very strong let's look at your near future with the king of pentacles and we've got the seven of pentacles so waiting waiting for something do I invest more time there's something that is being thought about looked at let me take another one and there's the ace of pentacles my god wow so it's going to take a little bit of time before um, that ace is handed to you so for each and every one of you of course it's going to be different but there is some sort of a well a card just flipped open and it's just showing itself to me and I've got the ten of cups dear Scorpio what can I say I mean what what can I say I'd like to look at now I'm going to take on the six of wands which is in your external environment let's take what is that and we've got the strength card which is Leo so if we're talking fire signs we've got Sagittarius and Leo so you need the strength you need the faith you need your your um, you may be dealing with someone that is trying to be very courageous being very patient okay now the strength card is Leo again Leo is the heart Leo is also um, children okay it's creativity it's risk-taking and it's got a lot to do with patience and the higher self this is like trusting trusting the divine trusting your higher self that you can manage look at that Scorpio look at that two of cups this is an incredible reading let's look at the Queen of Rods the Queen of Wands I just got the I just got the goosebumps Scorpio which says that I'm right on point let's look at this Queen of Rods and uh, of course it can be any fire sign so Aries Sag or Leo let's take another card and we've got the Emperor here <laughs> oh wow so now we've got the Emperor now the Emperor for me is restrictions it's the Saturnian thing to do are you standing in your integrity what are the restrictions what are the boundaries that have been put up what is the law that is holding you back that is asking for you to do what you need to do to uh, complete something to finish a job finish the job complete it um, for some of you this could be another person of course this could be a father this is very similar to someone who's been through those Saturnian lessons they have he's sitting on the throne 
for a reason. He's done the, the work. He's got the experience. Now again, Saturn has moved direct. Pluto is moving direct. Um, we have had a difficult uh, full moon in Aries the past couple of days, which was squaring off to Pluto and Saturn and the nodes. So there's still difficult energies that we're dealing with, but th you know that the very positive Saturnian side is that Saturn gives you the rewards once you put in that work. And we've got a good, very good couple here, some two people that are meant to be together. Okay, the Emperor and the Empress. Now, the Emperor is a number four. So if you are hoping to be grounded, that's the Saturnian thing. If you're hoping to be grounded and you're hoping to accomplish the work that is necessary for your foundation, for your stability, is a number four, remember? And don't forget that for me, the Emperor is, he is a Taurus or he is an Aries. So we could have, this could be another side to you, dear Scorpio, or because the King of Pentacles, I said, is more Taurian, we could be talking about the same person here with the Emperor. But as I said, Aries, Taurus. Some other people say he could be a uh, fire sign. For me, it's mainly those two um, those two energies. But as an energy, he is he's bringing you stability. Okay, so you're setting down those foundations. Some of you are still working through stuff. Let's take one card on the Two of Pentacles. Wow, and the card just flipped open. Marriage, celebration. Yeah, so you're working on the uh, on the infrastructure of something. So this is something incredible. So it's why is it so special? It's because it's up to you. It's in the position of you. So whatever you will be celebrating, because this is a celebratory card, and you've got two fours here. Yeah. Okay. It's in your hands. That's what I want to say. So the Four of Wands is a housewarming party. It's a wedding. It's a an engagement. You've got the Two of Cups twice. You've got the Ace of Pentacles here. Let's take a couple of Sabilas. Just a couple because uh, this is a beautiful reading. I don't want to make them way too long. So let's take what is... What's that Nine of Swords? What are you worrying about? And you've got the Il Namiko, which is a number 11. So the transformation is not going to be easy. So there are worries that are going away. This is my going away card. So the negative energies, dear Scorpio, are transforming. And again, the snake that sheds its skin and growing new skin, another 11. You're still finishing up with some karmic situation. This is the domestic or the helping hand. But for some reason, there isn't a hundred percent trust with someone that is in your periphery, someone who should be of help to you. And if it's not a person, it could be the energy. You're not trusting that you can make the changes, that you can grow that new skin. But we've got Alegres al Cuore, which is merriment and happiness. Now, for some of you, because we've got three people here, you may be there may be the worry now either you're the third person or you're dealing with someone who is doing the dirty on you dear Scorpio and I'm sorry to say that but we do have some indications here and that will not be relevant for all of you of course so let's uh, what I'd like to take now I want to see the ace of swords which is the general energy so at the bottom of the deck, that Ace of Swords, what's that all about? What is that truth, that severing ties, that successful new beginning? So there's news coming in and another 11. My goodness. News coming in from afar. It's the Wheel of Fortune. Fortuna. So it's a five, five of wands. So any disagreements or whatever you've been trying to build on or haven't been on the same page with others, 
you know, fives bring in change, and this is luck. This is luck. And we've got Prision, which is the Nine of Swords. So this is the Capricornian energy. So we've got Sagittarius and Capricorn here. Now, what this could be saying is, is that the news will be coming in when Jupiter moves into Capricorn, which will be beginning of December. So you, you are, this is Capricorn energy. And Capricorn can be hard work. It's the Saturnian stuff that I was talking about with the Emperor. Maybe this is one more thing that is being asked of you before the shackles can come off. I'm going to take one more card after the Prigione. Now the Prigione can mean the law. So this could be restrictions from the law in whichever way. But once you've done the work, look what you have. The gift, the precious gift. And this is the Eight of Pentacles, which says that you're putting in the work. And the gifts are coming in. The chest of gifts is open. The box is open. And there are many, many gifts and treasures in this. Scorpio, beautiful. What I'd like to do now, dear Scorpio, um, is I would like to take... I'd like to take my handwritten cards. I know a lot of you love these. So I'm going to take... On the uh, on the people here now for you personally if you know the Empress is an energy that's fine don't take that message everyone is on a diff in a different situation so take the messages as they resonate for you what I do see here in the near future is a lot of happiness this is another 10 it breaks down to the ace so money is looking good happiness Family bliss. Lots of beautiful energies here. Let's take the Empress first of all and let's see what she has to say. And we've got the card here and she says, you're my other half, I feel it. And this is the Six of Pentacles. So again, it's the energy of Libra or Equilibrium. Right, so healthy giving and receiving. So the Empress says, You're my other half. There's that soulmate twin flame connection. Let's take the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles, I see pain and sorrow in your eyes. Please trust that I won't ever hurt you. And this is the Four of Pentacles, which for me is Taurian energy again. So Taurus again has got the values, self worth, comforts. Five senses, what we love. And yeah, for some of you, this King of Pentacles may have been holding back. Okay, but it doesn't mean, even though he's been holding back, and um, it says, I won't ever hurt you. Maybe it's the message goes the other way. Okay, because we can always flip the messages. Let's look at the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands, which is at the outcome. What does she have to say? You were cold, distant to me. I needed more passion, and that's the Two of Wands. So I'll let you figure that one out. I'll let you think for your own personal situation, because you've got the Two of Wands here, what that means. Remember I said someone is not showing up in this card. Yeah. So I'd like to take a card on the Emperor now. The Emperor, what's that please, Spirit? And we've got, unfortunately, I did not recognize you as my soulmate at first sight, but now I see you truly are Five of Pentacles. And fives always speak of change, isn't it? And five is also the number of the Hierophant. Now, the six, of course, is the number of the lovers, isn't it? The major arcanas we're talking about. So I'll leave those messages up to you and you would know how they resonate for you. 
Okay, now I'm going to take the wisdom of the house of the night for a special message for Scorpio, please, spirit. I'd love to extend this even more, but I really don't have the time, you guys. Let's take the card for Scorpio, please, spirit. Ooh. So mid-October till end of October 2019, what does Scorpio need to know? What's the message for Scorpio? And we have trapped. There's the cage. Number 34, which is a number 7. And 7 is the chariot. Could be trapped for some sort of reason, some sort of time. Now, the chariot is also, it's cancer, right? And the north node is in cancer. So things dealing with home, family, security. Let's read this card. Okay, so it reads, do you sense that you cannot do what you really want to do because others have expectations of you that you may not be able to fulfill? Do you feel as if you will never get what you want or go where you want to go? Have patience, for truly you are in a temporary prison and that exists in your mind, your circumstances. No, ma no matter what they are will change and you will be free to experience the life you wish to lead. In these times, dreaming is the best antidote and of course patience. Consider the story of the half-raven boy trapped in conflict until he finally follows his heart. Trust in me for I will show you when the cage, door open, cage doors open so that you can fly free. And, you know, the messages of Sagittarius and freedom were messaged through the cards many times. Also, the Saturnian energy as well as the Emperor. So there is, and again I got the goosebumps, there is something that you need to complete and it could be all about timing because Saturnian energy is the, um, Saturn is the Lord of Karma and Time. So this cage will open. It's only a matter of time. So keep the faith. Beautiful things are coming in. Now this is for mid to end of October, but it may even show up up until end of November or beginning of December. So I will leave it at that. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Sending you lots of love, you guys. I do appreciate your support and um, hope that your solar return will be amazing, will be anything that you expected and everything too. Thanks guys, talk to you soon, bye bye.